welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a very exciting video today. You guys know what time of year it is. It is VIB sale time, VIB sale time, VIB sale time. It's time to get a lot of good deals on makeup. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm just kidding guys. I'm so excited for this sale. Actually, I feel like you guys should be just as excited as me, so get on my level. I just thought it would be so fun to film a recommendations video for you guys. So basically what I did was I went through my makeup collection and tried to think of products that I use every day, I can't live without, and I was like, my subscribers need these products. So I feel like I have a ton of stuff, but I really tried to narrow it down. I really started using a lot of different indie brands guys as well so you won't see a ton of products in this video. Of course everything is stuff you can buy at Sephora but I do turn to a lot of other brands when it comes to my day to day but everything you can find in Sephora and get 20% off on during the VIB sale I have gathered in a little pile and I'm going to show you everything so you guys can you know plan your shopping trip accordingly. Now, a few life hacks. You can actually create a loves list on your Sephora, you know, account if you guys like to do that. I personally like to put things in my cart, play with the total, you know, just like, it's like the Super Bowl, guys. I've already said this in my videos. I like to sit and plan. So I will go ahead and link some videos that I created regarding like previous VIB sales. I should probably put a playlist together for VIB sales, VIB hauls, VIB recommendations. I'll go ahead and do that. My channel doesn't have one of those playlists, but I will make one and I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. I will also put it at the end of this video so you guys can check it out because it is so much fun to watch these recommendation videos because I get ideas and I remember things that I would have forgotten if people didn't talk about them in these videos. So life hack number two when it comes to shopping the sale is to watch a ton of these videos because we are constantly inspiring each other and if you hear multiple people talking about multiple products, honestly that's a really good sign that you should grab those products as well. So I'm going to stop blabbering really quick. There is an active giveaway on my channel. I will throw that link in the description box as well. You just have to watch the video and follow the instructions to win a ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check that video out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my future videos and uploads. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I will have a Sephora Friends and Family Sale haul going up and I will also have a Sephora haul from April like a revisited so I'll go over everything I picked up in the last sale and whether I still own those products whether I would repurchase those products would I recommend those products to you I will have that video as well as we will look at my current Sephora loves list which is a hodgepodge of crazy shit and again, just to give you guys ideas of things I might be buying, things that you might be interested in, etc, etc, etc. I'm going to go ahead and start off with face products because obviously, you know, you have to have an awesome canvas. So let's go ahead and check out my product recommendations, guys. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to kind of go over like my whole routine with you guys and then just tell you like what I would use for each thing if I have something from Sephora that I love. So as far as like moisturizers and stuff goes, I don't really have anything that's like ride or die. I do use the Juno Oil by Sunday Riley. That's really good, but it's very expensive, so I wouldn't say like you have to go get it. The other thing I do like is the Belief Aqua Bomb. Again, it's a good product, but I wouldn't say like that's my holy grail. Like if there was no other moisturizer on the planet, I would need that. So I would say, you know, that I'm going to leave up to you guys. I'm not really a skincare expert, so I don't really want to give you guys like these are must-haves because these are like my ride-or-die Sephora products. You know what I'm saying? So no lotion recommendations. As far as primers, I am not like a huge believer of primers. I feel like there's not really a primer I've bought that I've like been madly in love with. Currently I'm using the new Becca primer. I can't remember what that one's called but I'll throw up a picture so you guys know which one I'm talking about. It's good. I feel like my makeup lasts a little bit longer but 
nothing life-changing so I wouldn't say you would have to get that so I have some foundations right here that I want to talk to you guys about so let's talk about my holy grail foundation this is the NAR sheer glow foundation I have talked this foundation to death I have used this for years this is still one of my go-to foundations I just feel like it works so well with my skin tone it's a really good match it's a really great undertone that's my biggest problem with foundations is finding the right undertone sometimes I feel like foundations are so so orange and I'm tan but I'm more of like an olive tan I'm not really an orange tan so it's really complicated but I am so thankful whichever Sephora person recommended me this foundation like years ago when I was in college and trying to find a high-end foundation so I have two shades right here I have Tahoe which is my summer shade and this is Syracuse which is my winter shade they're only like one shade apart but it really makes a difference and the only thing that sucks about this foundation is the packaging. It doesn't come with a pump, so you do have to buy the pump separately. I like having a pump because I'm high maintenance like that, but honestly, this foundation is awesome. Some people say it's like medium coverage. I feel like it's definitely full coverage for me. It's foolproof. I will throw up a picture from my wedding day. I actually wore this foundation on my wedding day, and I felt like my makeup lasted the whole day, so really really love this stuff if you are in the market for a foundation and you have dry skin i would 100 percent recommend this they also have a matte formula of that particular foundation i've never tried it i only use a sheer glow it's nice it's dewy it's not overly dewy doesn't make you look oily but i love that stuff so another new foundation that i have really been enjoying is the fenty beauty foundation now i was going to review this product for you guys but i haven't done that yet you get 1.08 fluid ounces and this is new to Sephora. This is Rihanna's line at Sephora and I really enjoy this. I feel like it worked for me really well in the summertime. It's a little bit too matte for me right now as we're going into fall and winter time. But in the summertime, I feel like it made me feel flawless. So many of you were asking me what foundation I was wearing in quite a few of my videos. And for the longest time, I was only wearing the Fenty foundation. I've stopped using this as of right now because, like I said, it's getting really cold here. So I'm kind of switching over to my more dewy foundations. But this guy is really good. So if you're interested in this foundation, I would, I would highly recommend checking this out. Another ride or die foundation that is available at Sephora is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation and I wear the shade 4 and 2 in the original formula. I've had this for a long time. This is my go-to full coverage foundation. It lasts all day. It's lovely. I tell a lot of my freelance clients to get this foundation because I just think that this will last you all day. It's very heavy. It's matte. But you guys, I love that look, so of course I love the double wear. And now I've also really been enjoying the double wear nude water fresh makeup. This is in the shade 5W1, and this came out um, sometime this summer, and it is incredibly dewy, so it's a lot different from this formula, but I was so excited because I have pretty dry skin in the winter time, so I can't wait for it to get cold so I can try this. I'm really interested in seeing how this is gonna perform on my skin in the winter time. I've worn it in the summer and it's still as good as this, but it is dewy, so keep that in mind. There's some great options from Estee Lauder for you guys to pick up as far as foundation goes. Okay guys, before we talk about more makeup, I thought I'd touch really quick on some hair products. I don't have a ton because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm not really a huge hair person. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to grow my hair out. Um, but today, of course, I was having like a bad hair day. I can't be bothered. No time. So I put it up in a ponytail. But usually if I wear my hair down, it is straightened. And my new go-to straightener is this guy from The Dry Bar. Honestly, I can't remember what this is called. It has a name because they give all their products like fun names. This is great. I actually picked mine up from the Nordstrom sale. I got like a huge kit. So you can get this puppy for 20% off on the Sephora website during the VIB sale. So I would recommend doing that. I love this sucker. I think it works really well. 420 is usually what I straighten my hair on. It straightens really well. I just really love this. I feel so much better having this straightener. I used to use one by... I had the Nicole Guerrero kit that she collabed with... What brand? I can't remember the brand she collabed with to create that kit. 
but it's so so I feel like this is so so much better so I'm so glad I invested in a really good hair straightener another favorite product of mine from the dry bar is of course dry shampoo and I really love this stuff this is the detox dry shampoo and it is Definitely expensive, but this is so gritty you guys and I can actually feel the powder in it I can actually feel it soaking up the oil in my hair. So this is my favorite dry shampoo I've tried out many different dry shampoos drugstore high-end etc etc and this is my go-to so if you're looking for a No fail dry shampoo. I would recommend this keep in mind. It is very very gritty You might end up hating this but personally, for my taste, I love this dry shampoo. Okay, so if you watch a number of these videos, everyone is going to tell you this, but it is with good reason. Sephora VIB sale is always a good time to pick up a teddy bear. So definitely look in the toy section for cute teddy bears. This is the Moschino Bear perfume that they came out with when Sephora did that Moschino collab. And this puppy smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells like suntan lotion. I love this so much. But the Sephora sale is a really, really great time to get a perfume on sale. Perfumes are generally so expensive. So I have my eye on a few. I actually picked up one of the Chanel perfumes. I'll post a picture because I can't remember what it's called, but it's the green bottle. It's a, it's a circle bottle, but it's the green fragrance, which I love a good, clean, fresh scent. So I picked that up already, and then my husband wanted a perfume, so I picked that up during the friends and family. I'll show you guys in the haul video that I'm going to put up soon. Uh, but I'm so, so excited for those fragrances. I also really want a Joe Malone fragrance, guys, but I don't have anywhere to smell it here in my town because I live in a really small place. I don't think there's anywhere that sells Joe Malone near me. So knowing the scents I like, that Chanel, I love how this smells, Ralph Lauren Romance. I really like the smell of Versace Bright Crystal. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. Also Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue, my all-time favorite scents. So just knowing that I like those fragrances, can you guys recommend a Joe Malone fragrance to me? If you guys kind of like those same scents and those same notes, can you maybe give me some ideas of which one I might like? There's a few I'm leaning towards, but I'm just not sure. And those suckers are so freaking expensive. I really couldn't commit myself during the friends and family sale to buy one but I might do it during the VIB Rouge sale. So if you guys can give me a solid recommendation, I would so, so appreciate that. Okay guys, now on to one of my favorite things to buy at Sephora and just in general is of course eyeshadow palettes. Now I could probably sit here and go through the whole Sephora catalog of eyeshadow palettes because trust me, I have almost all of them, but I wanted to narrow it down. So I came up with some recommendations for you guys. The first one, and I know you guys are gonna see this in a ton of recommendation videos, but the Viseart palettes. These are my favorites. I have three of them, but these two are the ones I would recommend. Specifically this one, if you can only buy one, this is the Neutral Matte Palette, and I could use this all day long. Honestly, it's a beautiful palette. I feel like it's so versatile, and this is also really good for makeup artists because it's designed for multiple skin tones. So if you look at these shades, you can really apply this to any skin tone, and I think it's wonderful. You can also use this on your eyebrows, or if you wanna like try and use these as a bronzer or a contour, I feel like this is a very multi-purpose product. You do get a ton of product in these. They are a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it because I feel like these are just such go-to everyday palettes. So that's why they are in my recommendation video. Another one that I am going to recommend to you guys, this is gonna be like a holiday thing. If you wanna splurge, if you wanna treat yourself, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend to you guys the Pat McGrath Mothership Palettes. Now this is the Mothership 2 palette. I actually have all three in my possession. If you wanna see my review video, I will go ahead and link it down below. But honestly, you guys, these eyeshadows are unlike any other eyeshadows I've seen before. These duo chromes will knock your freaking socks off. They are so gorgeous. Here is the gold shade. Do you guys see how pigmented these are? Like, I cannot wait to be done reviewing holiday palettes so I can go back and play with these ones because I've kind of had to put them to the side because I need to like review all these other products for you guys but honestly like these are so fun to play with 
And I like to use a glitter glue with this, so if you're looking for glitter glue recommendations, I would recommend the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Honestly, that is a really good one. But how beautiful are these eyeshadows, guys? 100% recommend picking one of these up. So, so worth it. They're $125 and you'll get 20% off, which is honestly, I don't think you're gonna get them for a better price. They're so luxurious, they're heavyweight. Um, and then if you get a Viseart palette, you can combine it with one of these palettes. And I just feel like if you're a makeup lover or you wanna gift something to a makeup lover, this would be such a great present to find underneath the Christmas tree for yourself or for that beauty lover in your life. Okay guys, the last eyeshadow palette I wanna recommend to you guys is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Now, I can admit when I was wrong and I recently made a video called Brands I'm Breaking Up With and I believe I did mention Huda in that video and the reason I did that was because I had a horrible experience with the Rose Gold Palette and I was so mad about just the quality and how I felt like she overcharged for the palette and things like that. But I also did say in that video that I'm all for redemption. If the brands seem to be improving and putting out good quality products, I would definitely try them. So when this came out and pictures of this came out, I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me right now? So yeah, I picked this up and I'm so, so happy with this palette. If you guys are interested in checking out my review and my thoughts, oh my God, this palette is so beautiful. So understand this guys. With the holidays, I have been buying so many eyeshadow palettes from Saint and Sinner, Lila, there's just been so many. And for me to recommend this is, I feel like a pretty big deal because I could have recommended a number of other palettes, but I feel like this is a great palette for most makeup lovers. It's currently like so trendy right now, those warm colors, but I also feel like she gave us enough of like fun colors. I think this Cosmo shade is going to be so beautiful for holiday parties. Twilight is a beautiful shade, retrograde. There are these fun duochromes that really switch up the look of the warm eyeshadows. So honestly, I feel like this is a beautiful palette. And I'm so, so pumped that Huda created something new and revolutionary and different. I think she really listened to her customers changed the product, changed the formula, and created a beautiful palette that is definitely worth $65. I would pay $65 for this, but if you can get it on a decent sale, why not do that? So I am 100% recommending the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette to you guys. Okay guys, so the next category are like face powder products, and I feel like it's not gonna be a VIB sale recommendation video if I don't talk about some Beck products and some Anastasia Beverly Hills products, but I would honestly recommend the new Becca Glow Kit, the Apreski, whatever, whatever palette. I'm not planning on buying it because I still have this one. This is Jaclyn Hill face palette and I just feel like Becca does do a lot of recycling with their shades. I feel like a lot of these shades are very similar to that palette. Now they have a hell of a good formula, which is why I'm recommending a palette because you're never going to go through an entire compact. I don't feel like a highlighter. Well, you might if you only have one, but I have several, so I just can't justify buying more face palettes. But this is Becca Champagne Pop. If you only want a highlighter, like one highlighter, this is a universally flattering shade. Even though I am like on a severe no supporting Jaclyn Hill right now, I feel like this highlighter she created was honestly revolutionary. I don't feel like there was a lot of highlighters this shade until she created Champagne Pop and now there's so many different dupes available. I don't feel like you have to spend $38 to get a good highlighter anymore. Personally, I have been loving the Milani highlighters. I actually have one on right now. This is the shade number four by Milani. $10 highlighter works like a dream. Packaging is beautiful, but this is a Sephora video. So obviously they don't sell Milani at Sephora, but they will be selling it at Ulta soon, so you can get it there. But I would say the Becca highlighters are a really good buy if you want something high-end. People always recommend them, and it's for good reason, because they are really good. I would just say select a face palette, because I feel like you're going to get really good bang for your buck there. This is the ABH Sun Dip Glow Kit. Now, they just came out with one called Sugar, I believe. This is Sun Dipped. It's very golden. It has those, you know, tones that just work for people with my skin tone. This one I actually received in my Makeup by Mario Masterclass goodie bag, so I didn't actually 
actually put any money towards this. Well, of course I bought the ticket, which was fucking expensive, but yeah, this is a, you know, great way to try out some highlighters. I think this is really good bang for your buck because these are 40 bucks and you get 10 highlighters and these are really good everyday shades and I think it caters to a wide variety of skin tones. I don't feel like you personally have to get the sun dip. She has a lot of different highlighters, but I do think this is a good deal and again, if you can get it on sale, why the heck not? Okay, another face palette that I wanted to recommend to you guys, and this is from Holiday 2017, is the Hourglass Ambient Edit Volume 3 Face Palette. I have a full review of this palette on my channel, so I will go ahead and link that down in the description box if you guys are interested in seeing this. I don't think this is very tan girl friendly. I don't think if you're darker than me, you're going to really appreciate this palette. I do really hate Hourglass for not catering to multiple skin tones as far as their ambient lighting formula goes, but this palette is so glowy and it just makes you look so young and it takes away the texture. It doesn't emphasize texture. It doesn't emphasize your pores. It just feels like it melts into your skin and I love that about this palette. It is a very high ticket item. It is 80 bucks, so I definitely think if you have a chance to get it on sale, that's when you should do it. Okay, so the next item I want to talk about is blush and again Becca's gonna dominate my face products because they just have the best powders. This is the Sweet Pea blush and I love it. I don't know if they actually make that one anymore, but this is the Songbird blush and Honestly, these are two different formulas, but this one is glowier. Honestly, I love wearing this. It gives me an insane sheen on my cheeks. You guys should see me in person when I'm wearing this blush. It's just insane. It's hard to describe. These are not cheap, but honestly, I would 100% recommend picking one of these up. I know a lot of YouTubers are going to be recommending the Becca blushes. And again, it is for good reason, so check these out as well if you have the chance, if you're on the market for a new blush. I personally, again, turn to indie brands when it comes to my blush collection. I'm really loving the Juvia's Place blush palettes. I feel like, honestly, that's really all you need, but since this is a Sephora recommendations video, I am trying to pull products that are available at Sephora. So please understand, guys. I know I'm not recommending products in every category, but that's just because I don't want to recommend products for the sake of recommending products. I do genuinely believe the Becca face powders are really, really good. But it's not, but I just wanted to film a recommendations video because some of these products are genuinely good and you definitely deserve to get a discount on them. My last Becca product in this video is going to be the new Becca bronzers. This is the Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun. I wear this constantly. I wore it a lot this summer and I feel like I've made a decent dent in it as far as the ripples go. You can barely see them now. But this color works so well with my skin tone. It was so hard to decide like what shade would go with my skin tone. But this is beautiful again it just like melts into my skin it's so hard when you're tan to find a bronzer not a lot of brands have bronzers that'll actually bronze up my skin like actually make it look really like sun-kissed a lot of bronzers for tan to medium to deep skin tones are more contour shades and I just die for like a good bronzer that just makes me look glowy. So I'm so glad that Becca launched a whole collection of bronzers because I definitely felt like there was a hole in the market for that. And then it just felt like everyone came out with bronzers, you know. But another one that's always been my go-to I want to show you guys is NARS Casino. They have two shades. They have Laguna and Casino from their original formula. They also now have the Sun Diffuse bronzers which are quite a bit lighter. I don't think any of those would work with my skin tone. If you guys know, let me know. I'm not sure. I have two of them in a face palette that I'm going to show you guys next, but uh, those are way too light for me. Casino is a bomb shade if you have tan skin like me, and I would honestly recommend, again, getting it on sale. I have a green sticker around here because I am trying to pan this bronzer. So once I started talking about the NARS bronzer, I realized I almost forgot to share with you guys this face palette. This is the NARS Borde Plage face palette, and this sucker is freaking expensive, but if you guys get a chance to get it on discount, I would 100% recommend. I basically bought this entire palette for this highlighter shade called Glate, and I've said that multiple times in videos, but this formula is beautiful. It's very buttery. I'm not going to say this is the only, you know, highlighter that you're going to find 
with this kind of quality but something about it just works so well with my skin tone and I know a number of other lighter skin tones really enjoy these lighter shades so if you're like a makeup artist or you like to do your friends makeup this might be a fun one to have because then you have different options for different skin tones personally I am just pumped to have a palette from NARS a face palette that I actually enjoy because I previously purchased face palettes from, from them that I haven't felt are the best quality but this one I can assure you is wonderful and definitely a must have. So I'm going to talk about one more NARS product. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Medium 2 Ginger and this has a 24 month shelf life and you get 0.21 ounces of product. When this first came out there was so much freaking hype about this concealer and I was like no freaking way. I am not buying that concealer. It is over hyped. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying into the hype. I won't get it and then I think I got like a $10 off coupon or something. Something made me try this concealer and oh my god am I glad I did. Now I know a lot of videos are going to have the Tarte Shape Tape and the Naked Creamy Concealer. I feel like those two concealers are like everyone's go-to concealer and although I have both of those concealers in my collection I thought I would try and be a little bit different and recommend this to you guys. I feel like this is gonna last a really long time. As you can see I've made a really good dent in this. I use this almost every day and it hasn't dried up. It's so creamy. It melts into my under eyes and then I just you know set it with concealer and I feel like it lasts all day. I'm wearing this concealer right now underneath my eyes and I did this makeup at like 7 a.m. and it's probably like 8 o'clock at night as I'm filming this so this is a wonderful concealer and I would 100% recommend it to you guys. Okay the next item I wanted to talk to you guys about is kind of random but this is eyeliner. This is the Ardency In eyeliner called Modster and honestly look at this. This is my black one and this is the brown that they have. I really like this eyeliner. It works really well. It lasts all day. It's nice and black. Jaclyn Hill actually recommended this years ago and I have not really strayed very far from this eyeliner. Usually I always restock during the VIB sale and if you're looking for a nice affordable eyeliner I would totally recommend these. These definitely fly off the shelves and usually around the holidays they have like a gift set so I would 100% recommend checking that out. Next thing I want to talk about that I cannot live without is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now this is my second tube and I already ordered two of these during the friends and family sale because not only do I use this for my brows guys but I actually use it every morning when my hair is up to tame any of my baby hairs. Now I know a lot of people like to use hair gel and pomade and stuff but this one just works so well with my hair because it doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It has just the right amount. I'm actually wearing it right now in my hair to tame all my little flowers flyaways because I have so many little baby hairs it's so gross and I don't want to wash my hair every day and I don't feel like this like clogs up my hair or makes it yucky or gunky I can basically put this in my hair every morning when I have it up and I love it and it works really well for the brows as well so this is like my go-to hair gel which sounds ridiculous to spend that kind of money but I've had this tube forever and honestly every time I go into it there's still a little bit of product in there so I'm going to keep using this until it just runs out because it's lasted me forever and I honestly love this so much. So if you guys suffer with a lot of baby hairs, I would honestly recommend trying out a clear brow gel because it works amazingly well for me. Next product I want to talk about is my favorite new powder that I use to set my makeup. This is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I used to love the Cover FX powder but now I'm obsessed with the Dermablend. I feel like this is a good in between between the Laura Mercier powder and the Cover FX powder. I feel like the Cover FX powder was almost a little bit too light uh, and didn't set, set my eyes completely or underneath my eyes completely but the Laura Mercier as soon as that powder hit my skin it just felt like it dried out my under eyes so I feel like the Dermablend is a great medium. I like that this has a decent price point. I actually got this when it was on sale during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty but uh, since the Sephora sale is around the corner here and if you guys are looking for a great powder I would recommend this. This is in the shade Cool Beige and it works really well with my skin tone. It doesn't really like cake up or break up underneath my eyes and I truly love this 
freaking powder. <clears throat> Last items I wanted to recommend to you guys is lip products. Now I wanted to make sure that I recommended something I really, really loved. I could sit here and talk about lip products all day that I picked up from from Sephora, but ones that I want to keep going back to are the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I try to purchase one of the shades every VIB sale. I have another one sitting out there called Hawkwind, but I honestly love Lolita. It's like one of my go-to shades. I really like the shade Plath as well that came out last holiday. I really want the, the Project Chimps shade, but that's an exclusive to Kat Von D's website, so I haven't gotten a hold of it yet. But I definitely, oops, I definitely want to add some reds to my collection because I feel like I have a lot of nudes. Lolita 2 is also really, really beautiful. So if you guys are looking for some tan girl friendly liquid lipsticks, I would 100% recommend Lolita 1. Lolita 2 and Hawkwind, which is actually the shade I have swatched here. Now you guys got a little peek at my other liquid lipstick recommendation, which are the Huda Liquid Mattes. I freaking love the shade selection she has. This shade, Trendsetter and Bombshell, honestly like my go-to shades. Bombshell is so so beautiful it's like the perfect nude for my skin tone because it's not like a concealer nude it has like a hint of warmth to it where it still looks like my lips and not this like pinky nude shade which i hate pinky nudes so so much so i love these two i'm getting girlfriend i actually picked up the little mini set that they have with nudes on the sephora website that just came out for holiday but honestly these are incredibly comfortable i love that she has little minis so you don't need to buy a full size and you can get multiple different colors i picked up these sets last year and i actually used them as christmas gifts for two of my friends as well and they came with like a full size lip liner so i think these are really fun gifts and gifts for yourself as well during the sale Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to recommend for you from the Sephora VIB sale. These are things I use almost every day and just I feel like you're gonna get really good value if you pick up any of these items. I didn't wanna recommend everything. Of course, you guys know I shop a lot at Sephora, but I don't wanna sit here and recommend things that I don't absolutely love. These are products I absolutely, absolutely love, 100% standby, and I feel like are definitely worth your dollar bills. So yeah, let me know if you found this video useful and entertaining. Leave me comments down below telling me about products you're planning on picking up or products you think I should try out during the sale. I'm also gonna have a VIB sale playlist created because I have a few more videos planned. So definitely check out the playlist down below as well. I'll link it for you guys. There is an active giveaway on my channel. That'll also be in the description box. So you guys can enter that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy shopping. Bye.